In this video, we'll learn about the call to existing action. Now for that, there's a mandatory thing. You need to learn about the call to new action. And second one is call to copy of action. So we have done that in previous two videos. Now let's see what exactly is call to existing action. It will, what it will do is it will call the actions from other test in read only mode. So when I say read only mode, you cannot modify the scripts, neither you can modify the object properties and values and neither the test data in the data table sheet. So only thing is you can use it into your test, but you cannot do any changes. So let us see that how do we use call to existing action. Now for that, I have to create one test. So I'll just right click on this solution untitled, click on add new test and the name of the test I'll give as existing action test. Some name I'll give it, click on add. And the very first thing what I'll do is I'll click on this, double click on this action one design and I'll say as call to existing action. So if I click on this call to existing action, it says which is your test. So first thing is I'll select here as test from this place, action test, then click on open and I'll click on yes, it's asking about the path. In that action, there are four reusable tests exactly. So there are four reusable tests. I can select any one, let's say find flights. You want the description automatically comes here. I want at the end of the test, okay, and I'll click on okay. So if you see, I have got this external action and the name is find flights that is from action test. In the, in the bracket, if you see that is given, the name of the test is given here. Now, if I double click at any place, okay, and if I want to modify the script, I'll start typing, but I'll not, not be able to modify this. Same, if you see the sheet which I've got it, copy of that is the find flights action test, it is grayed out. That means you are not allowed to modify. If I go to action one, that is not grayed out, but you can modify that. Okay. Same way, let us see if I go to resources, if I go to object repository, these are the different objects and every object is grayed out. That means you cannot change any object property value itself. So they are been uh, same as it is. Whereas if you see, if I go to call to copy of action one, here is the same action in the previous video. If I start typing here, I can modify. If I start typing here, I can modify. Same for the object repository. I can just modify any options here. You can see here, I can modify the text which is given here, right? So the difference between call to existing action and copy of action is copy of action will import the action entirely, create a copy. After that, it will have no relation with the main test. Whereas call to existing action will still have a reference. If you want to make changes, make changes in the parent test from where you have called and that will be reflected into your call test itself. So that's the main difference. So that's all for this video and I, have, I hope you have understood difference between call to copy and call to existing action. That's all for this video.